I stand before one of the world's largest and most modern pharmaceutical production plants. Together with colleagues in 16 other countries, we produce medicines that are life-changing for millions of people across the globe. This is AstraZeneca. Welcome. To produce medicines, you need a lot of materials. Every day, these are brought here by different suppliers. Most of it arrives on trucks. But we also have substances and gases that are brought here in large tank vehicles. Being one of the world's largest producers and suppliers of pharmaceuticals comes with responsibility. The production, distribution, storage and use of incoming materials have to be managed with the greatest care. We follow strict regulations with very high demands on safety, hygiene and quality. It is important for us to work as environmentally friendly as possible, which is why, for example, we have our own highly advanced water treatment plant here in Södertälje. There are a number of hygiene zones within production which need to be respected by everyone in order to ensure the highest quality in everything we produce. As a visitor, you must always wear specific protective clothing for the various hygiene zones. To enter further into production, you need to wear a higher category of protective clothing. There are also sterile zones, and to work there, you must have special training and equipment, and the clothing resembles spacesuits. Now let me take you on a short guided tour of our production to show you what we do and how we do it. As you can see it's spacious here, so if you want to move quickly, a scooter comes handy. This is a high-tech environment, but of course it didn't always look like this. Astra was founded in 1913 in Södertälje, south of Stockholm. To begin with there were only 10 employees, but the company grew rapidly. The first real success came with the local anaesthetic Xylocaine in 1948. Losec, the medicine against gastric ulcers, was launched in 1988 and was for several years the most sold pharmaceutical in the world. In 1999, Swedish Astra merged with British Seneca. Let's begin at the beginning, that is, with the production of the active substance or the part of the medicine that helps the patients. It's called the API, the active pharmaceutical ingredient. When you manufacture APIs, it's all about starting chemical reactions. Simply put, you pour solvents and chemicals into a large container, a reactor. You mix them and heat them so that they start reacting with each other. When the reaction has finished, you boil off the solvents you no longer require. You cool the remains to form a crystallized sediment called a slurry. The slurry is filtered to get rid of more liquid, forming a crumbly dough. The dough is finally dried into a powder. The powder is then sent on to the next step of the production process, called formulation or preparation. In the formulation process, the API powder is mixed with solvents, usually water and ethanol, binding agents and pharmaceutical excipients in a large mixing machine. The moist powder mix is then dried in a fluid bed dryer until it forms tiny dry grains, a few millimeters in diameter only. This can take anything from three to six hours. When the drying process is complete, more pharmaceutical excipients are added before the grains are brought to the tablet compression machine for shaping into pills. Last but not least, the tablets are coated to disguise flavors and to make them cosmetically pleasing as well as easier for the patient to swallow. Every step throughout the entire supply chain is documented and control sampling is carried out on all materials. Tablets are weighed, measured and checked regarding, for instance, color, shape and dissolving qualities. The quality organization does not only work with controls, they also ensure that high quality is built into the manufacturing processes right from the start. 
When the tablets are ready, it's time for packing. The packing process is highly automated. We pack approximately 10 billion tablets and capsules every year. That means 19,000 capsules a minute, 24-7, 365 days a year. All in all, we produce around 30 different pharmaceuticals for export to around 100 countries around the world. In addition to tablets, we also produce solutions, sprays and freeze-dried products, as well as inhalation products. Sweden Operations Distribution Center is an amazing place. There are 450 meters of conveyor belts connecting the influx and outflow of pallets to high bay cranes, packing stations and driverless trucks, so-called AGVs. The finished products are transported to our spacious storage, the high bay. Here the medicine waits to be shipped to markets and patients all over the world. We try to choose as environmentally friendly ways of distribution as possible. For example, we work to change to sea transportation more often instead of air freight. Despite us being a high-tech industry, nothing would be possible without our highly dedicated workforce. We strive to always be a great place to work, with clear values and goals for everything we do. The manufacturing unit here in Sodatelli is also the launch site of new drugs in the form of tablets and capsules. It also hosts a center of excellence for inhalation products. Being a launch site means that we are somewhat of a flagship. 98% of what we produce here in Sodatelli is for export, which makes AstraZeneca one of the largest exporting companies in Sweden. Four out of AstraZeneca's top 10 products are manufactured here. We have more than 3,000 employees and around 50% of our line managers are women. Approximately a fourth of us have a foreign background and this makes up for a great mix of competences. Since 2003, we work with continuous improvements using the Japanese lean philosophy something we have been recognized for. Lean is one of the main reasons for our increase in productivity and our competitive edge globally. Lean simply means every employee has two tasks. The first is to manufacture pharmaceuticals and the other is to always strive to do this in an even better and smarter way. Lean is our way of ensuring we always remain at the forefront to deliver life-changing medicines to patients all over the world. Thank you for visiting. Please come back or visit us at astrazeneca.com.